hello guys welcome to my channel mini soft tech today we are going to see how to install the sql server using powershell okay so let's get started here i'm going to open the powershell okay so windows powershell isc i'm just going to open as run as to give yes Okay, so here is the command to install the SQL Server. Okay, so I have given all the details here. Say like for example, where is the media files? Okay, so here is a media files. So you can see that same location I have given here. So I have defined the variable, where is the media files? Okay. Then this is the server account or you can say that the system then I have defined the file locations for the install share directory then instance directory tmdb directory backup directory log directory user uh, log directory and user db directory then again user log directory and here also I have defined what should be the SQL instance name so here I have given SQL 19 new and I have given the password here so in this case I don't have to give any parameters manually over here okay so I have already given here okay so here what it is doing is it is going to create one batch file and it is going to call that batch files to install it so here I have created the function and that is going to call all right so the question is from where I got all these details so if you go to the Microsoft site okay so you will get all these details okay like what are the details we can give and what are the parameters okay so all the parameters that we can do through using the uh, GUI, we can use the same using the PowerShell as well. Say like here, you can give the SQL match top parameter, then again service install file, identity files, then SQL user, DB directory that I have already given, then temp file growth also you can define number of files and, and what is the temp db size it should be so all these details you can you know find from here like sql temp db file growth and all okay so meanwhile it is you know going to discuss so i'm just going to run the command so here you can see till where i have given this parameter so you can see here till here i have given all the parameters so all the backup directory, log directory, I have given the details. And same commands I'm going to share in the video. So you can use for your reference and install the SQL server. So a couple of things like, you know, here the service account and all. I have not defined, I'm simply giving the NT authority as system. If you have your uh, domain account, you can give it the domain name here and the uh, username here but that should be having the administrator permission to run this you know the installation okay so okay guys so I'm just going to run this and let's see how it goes okay so it is started now okay so meanwhile we can discuss like you know uh, I have given the features equal to SQL. It means that it is going to take the default features that is the SQL engine and replication and full text. Okay. Here I have given the quite simple. It means that it will open a GUI for you and will show you the progress. Okay. But if you give the quite only quite here, it will not show you, it will not pop up this window and it will install in the background okay so, and it is so powerful that you can within a few minutes you can install the skill server 
So you can see that almost it is done. Okay, let's see. Here I have given the SQL 19 new, so instance name should be SQL 19 new. Okay, so I have already connected to the SQL instance. Okay, so till then it is completing the setup. I'm just opening the management studio. Oh yes, it is completed now. So you can see that within few minutes, SQL storage is installed. So I'm just going to see if it is installed properly. Okay, let me see what is the instance name. Instance name is SQL19 new. Okay. We can browse here. Okay, we can see. Okay, so let's see if it is installed properly or not. So it is installed. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to connect to the SQL server. Okay, so you can see that SQL 19 and I'm going to use the Windows Authentication Rios. Okay, so you can see that I'm able to connect and whatever the details I have given, you can see here, like the database setting. So whatever I have given F SQL 2019, so it is taking the same format. Okay, so memory setting, I have not defined anything. Then again, advanced setting, Okay, so here you can see that it since we have taken the SQL server, SQL mode, so it is taken the both Windows authentication mode and SQL server modes, mode. So we are good. Yeah, so that is the way that how we are going to install. We have installed it. And if you go to the location, you can see here the SQL services installed. Here are the temp files. Okay, here are the system files and all so here you can see all the system files are here whatever we have given so it is going there okay and for other files backup and all we have given the same directory SQL new so if we take any backup it should be going here okay so that's it guys that's it guys I think you enjoyed the video hope you like my channel so if you really enjoyed the video and you think that it is useful, then please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you guys.